Hey guys, Tyler here with Boost Junkie Media. And today I just wanted to kind of bring you a real quick video. Um, I had a couple of questions and some people that wanted some more information from the ESS Supercharger installation review slash installation video that I did. Uh, some people were asking some questions and wanted to see a couple of things that I had done that were a little different than what the instructions tell you. So I thought I would kind of make a quick video here and kind of show you what I did. So uh, one of the first questions that people had was right here. Um, this is the stock rubber line that comes from the intake manifold right here. And it's got this factory quick connect um, connection point on it. And in the instructions, it tells you to cut this off. And then they send you this white uh, barb right here that you're supposed to connect this hose to this hose right here with this quick connect gone. Well, I didn't really want to cut this off in case I decide to ever put this car back to stock. So what I did, as you might be able to see right here, I took this white vacuum um, adapter that they send you and I actually put it in a vise and I ground off part of the lip right here of the fitting. So what that allows is, is if I can do this one handed, is when you plug this in, that rib that right, that right there, that ribbed area where I cut it down, that now clips on the inside of that quick connect right there. So when you squeeze that together, you hear it click, and that is now clicked in. So it utilizes the factory quick connect. And then back here on the other end of the vacuum thing, I just put the rubber hose over it and then put a zip tie just to help secure it. So it kind of helps it uh, look clean that way. And that way, if you ever want to go back, you don't have to try to figure out a way to reattach that connection to that hose. It's already still there. Um, so that's one thing that I did. The other thing I think some people were asking about was like the vacuum line. So as you can see here, this is the same line. And it runs up along here with some zip ties, comes under here, and it's going to be kind of hard to see, but there is a, a T that I have installed. Let me see if I can grab a flashlight real quick. So right there, hopefully, you can see the T fitting with that rubber line that runs from the supercharger and or runs from the intake manifold and runs down to that T right there. So what that is, is, is a T. So there's a line that runs down to the intercooler where the blow off valve is. There's the line that runs up here to the intake manifold that I just showed you. And then there's the line here that runs along here and comes up under by the headlight and it comes up right here out of this hole here by the hood. This is the hood release uh, cable. And as you can see, there's another black line with it. That's my vacuum line. So that line runs all the way up here, it follows the um, hood release cable, and it's gonna come all the way here, and it's gonna come back here behind the booster. Sorry about the lighting, I'm trying to get a good light that you guys can see. So that comes all the way back behind the booster runs back behind the booster there and goes into the uh, hole in the firewall where the sound tube used to be right down there. So that line then goes inside the cabinet and all I did on that little plug on the firewall was I just took a, a little scalpel and made a little X right in the middle and then just shoved that uh, vacuum line right through there. And that vacuum line goes inside the cabin. That hole is accessible from inside the cabin up under the dash area. I grabbed the rubber line or the, the vacuum line. I attached a small piece of rubber line to it. And then that rubber line is what goes on the um, fitting that is on the P3 boost gauge that I showed that I have a video about. So on that P3 gauge, there's a little controller box that's under the dash that I've got zip tied up under there. You just plug that rubber line onto that little uh, nipple or that little fitting on the side of that box. Secure it with a zip tie. I like to secure all vacuum lines with a zip tie, especially if they've got boost going through them. If, if you're not boosted and you're just running vacuum, it's not such a big deal. But if you're running boost and you're putting positive pressure into these lines, to me, it's a good idea to go ahead and just put a zip tie. Um, 
So that's pretty much it. I think that's what everyone was asking. So right here, like I said, you can modify that white vacuum thing they give you to work with the factory quick connect. And then you can just trace this line right here and right up under there where I had that T, you can put your T fitting right there. So your three lines of your T are this line. You've got the one that runs down to your blow off valve for, oh, that's on the intercooler for the ESS kit. And then in my case, I've got this one here that runs up here, comes out right here and traces the hood release line up behind the booster and down to the firewall. So hopefully that kind of helps. Um, if you guys still don't understand something or you still want to see it a little bit better, um, I can try to do it, you know, a little bit better. The lighting is not great with some of this right here, but hopefully you kind of get the gist of it based on that. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I know it was quick and short, but I want to be able to help people out that are buying these kits. They seem like they're becoming very popular. So yeah. Um, so if you guys like the content, please give me a subscribe. Uh, give me a thumbs up on the video and leave me some more comments. I love the comments. I like to be able to help people and talk to people about, you know, my experiences and what I like and what I don't like and that kind of stuff. So with that being said, guys, we'll see you later. Keep it boosted.